Hi, and welcome to this video showing how to use 3D Printify. 3D Printify is a Blender geometry nodes group that converts any 3D object into a 3D printed looking version of itself. It works by slicing the mesh into multiple layers and the layer height is controllable by the user. It is designed to help people selling 3D prints online by enabling them to make renders of their products rather than taking photos of them. It is also for 3D artists who want to mimic the 3D printed look in their renders. To use 3D Printify, simply open the provided blend file and press play. And then watch as the Benchy gets built um, by the Geometry Nodes group. And once uh, everything is cached, you can go to the end frame and that's the result you would get with this 3D Benchy. Then you simply need to convert to a mesh and you can use that anywhere. Now, let's say you want to use your um, own mesh. Well, just import it. Um, and me, I'm simply going to use um, the monkey from Blender. I will also subdivide it a little bit so we don't get any kind of uh, faceting. And I will shade smooth. I will apply this as well. And the first thing you need to understand is that the size uh, needs to be um, correct and the correct size is uh, a 3D printed scale size. So this um, monkey head right now is huge and I'm just going to make it uh, smaller so it is um, let's say about 10 centimeters on the x-axis. Don't forget to apply um, the scale as well with Control A. So now that you have this, another thing you need to make for uh, the um, geometry node group to work is make sure that your mesh is triangulated. This is very important. And I'll just use a triangulate modifier and just apply that. So um, now the mesh is pretty much prepared. Um, but there is a problem with this mesh is that it is non-manifold, which means it is not uh, watertight. And this might generate issue issues. So, if you know Blender, you know the eyes of the monkey is actually uh, detached from the head and is um, is thin. It's like um, it's not it's not completely enclosed. So to fix this, I can simply uh, just use a remesh modifier and put it on a small scale, it's like of 0.5. Actually, one millimeter was nice, and I will apply this. And I will also uh, triangle it again. Um, so now I have triangles everywhere and my mesh is completely watertight. So now I can uh, use the add-on or the um, node group, I should say. So let's do that. So now I have 3D Prettify right there. I will go back to the frame one and also I'm just going to toggle this off for a second and I will um, input the right uh, end frame so the simulations run um, to the top of its head. So this is going to be a simple um, equation. So it's 72.8, so the, the height of the mesh, divided by the layer height, which is 0.28 millimeters. So this is going to need to run for 260 frames. And let's do that. Let's check that everything is working. And I'll just go to the end frame. And you can see it's working just fine. Um, another way to run the simulation, uh, which is actually going to be a little bit faster, is going into the physics tab right there. And I'll just delete the previous bake and just click back here. And this will um, calculate everything in the background. And I can just go to the end frame and see the exact same result. Um, so as you can see, 3D Printify clear, create uh, slices of the mesh. So in the end, you get quite a dense mesh. Um, and this density is controllable both with the layer height, which is very similar to the settings you would have in a, in a slicer like uh, Cura or Prusa slicer. So a layer height of 0.28 is pretty crude, but you could uh, go down to 0.2, which is more of a standard layer height. And the precision basically control how accurate the mesh 
is going to be uh, so and how dense it will be on those curve areas so here you can see how many um, cuts we have there that helps follow the curve of the base mesh um, if my precision was let's say two millimeters i would have way less geometry here um, and i will demonstrate how this would look and you can already see um, that this mesh is way less accurate but it's gonna run faster because there is just so much less polygon to deal with but in most cases, I find that this precision value is too high, which results in well, the mesh not being very precise and very accurate and not very dense. So I do like 0.1 is usually working pretty well for me. So let's run this again at 0.2 layer height uh, with a precision of 0.1 millimeter. And then I'll show you the shader that is included. And I'll show you quickly how to do a render once that's done. Let's go in the shading tab. Let's focus on Suzanne. And let's click PLA. And right now, if I was to just change the color, this would uh, change the color of the material. So let's switch to um, ray tracing. And I'll uh, toggle this off so I get an HDRI. And I'll turn this off. And I just need to place a camera. and maybe a ground and i will go to um world shader and i'll place an environment here and that's just an hdri and i'll use uh, one from ev I guess I can just use the one I'm using here in the viewport. Let's see that. That's exactly the same thing. And now um, I can simply render with the default settings. And this is how you would get. Uh, let's use this ELF 12. I'll just click here. And now I would get um, a render of uh, my 3D print that I can use on Etsy or whatever platform, or that you can use just uh, because you like the 3D printed look. And um, Geometry Node Groups is available on Gumroad, link in the description. If you have any problem well, with it, leave a comment uh, or uh, join me on Discord and I will try uh, to help you. Thank you.